So it's great when a familiar face walks in and you're not sh too shy to ask enough questions to figure out where you know each other from from three decades ago. And this just happened when Brian Loren walked into Mike's Puff and Snuff in Chesterland. <laughs> so what you been up to? Oh, about five feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, tonight, yeah, I'm playing with the Jets with, with Angel Sheridan. And uh, it's going to be at Brothers Lounge, which is going to have like 14 acts. And it's benefiting Breast Fest. Yeah, it's bra I, I read about it. Tracy Marie is going to be there. Tracy Marie is, is the, the, the organizer, if I'm not mistaken. I think so. And um, I think we go on around six or around six or seven, but in the middle, a pretty good slot, and all the acts sound really fun. And so I'm looking forward to that. When I realized you were Ken Dixon, I was like, you know me. <laughs> it's so funny, you know, and people's faces from decades ago, you, you don't really. <laughs> Too funny, know, man. It's, it's great to see, see people, so. I hope you're a regular face coming in oh, here. Oh, every day, because I can afford those. There you go. <laughs> well, now, now we'll. Now we'll have a uh, more opportunity of a more in-depth conversation. But uh, tell me about your involvement with Al's Fast Freight, who were on my record label. Oh, I, I just was friends with Howard uh, since we were 15. We played our first gig together at the uh, the Jewish uh, Community Center, the JCC in uh, University Heights, and uh, been friends ever since. And I think I was just supporting carrying his amps in and out that that evening, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. We we saw uh, Tom Guyette. Jim, Jim Guy, Jim Guy, yeah, yeah. why do you call him Tom? Jim and and because uh, you're thinking of the dude from from the uh, car or not car talk, but uh, that yeah, that that's that, Tom. that natural Tom Wo, Wo uh, Tom Wo, Oh shit! What's I know who you're <laughs> messing it up with. <laughs> and he was really great. Uh, he was interviewing us for uh, I think it was Nami, which the offices are right across the street. I, I I noticed that like the week after we did it on the on the radio where we played uh, Mental Rocks. Um, about two weekends ago, and that was to benefit uh, national uh, awareness for mental illness, if I'm not mistaken. Very cool. And, um, you know, there's those things. I'll, I have another project going with a band called Up in Smoke with, with Rich Luther and Julia Lindsay and uh, Tommy Stapleton and Harlan Van Riper. Kind of music. And that's kind of like Ozzy to Beatles to... You know, we're going to do like some new stuff too and original music and we're going to end up doing original music Good. so they say and i have a lot of that so you know we want to be able to be a business right and um uh, we sounded really good the other night where the heck did we, we play oh we were playing at sea bars uh and, and took over kind of for dog water uh that evening so i don't know i've been having a little bit of fun and i'm kind of nervous about tonight but well just remember, you're going to be around a bunch of ladies, be a modern man, and be sensitive with your language, and don't offend, and remember... Keep my mouth shut. There you go. Well, thank you for keeping your mouth open today. Thanks for giving me a, an opportunity. I appreciate it very much. Good Thanks, luck Ken. to all at Breast Fest tonight. Hey.